Check them, okay?
Chanji, good morning. We just going to do a little meditation for the departed soul. So what you do is just sit down quietly or stand up quietly and in your mind picture him and send him good vibrations to the soul itself. Because according to, according to all scriptures everything, the soul does not die. But it just leaves one body and goes to another body. And so we just go about a 10 minutes meditation. Send your good wishes to wish him to die. And wherever he is going to go in another body, be, be peaceful and happy in that body.
Don Shanti, thank you very much. And um, wherever the soul takes the body, we wish again that we have peaceful and happy home. Um, this is coming on behalf of the Raja Gadanda. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you कहा कहा 
अपना सिर पटे तू घर घर बस तू डर डर बस तू कहा कहा अपना सिर पटे तू जीवन में मिलो ना तुम को
And therefore, for all of us, every one of us, as we go through life, once we come into the world, this day will reach upon us where we have to leave and leave everyone and everything behind. Today, as we offer our prayer unto you, Prabhu, we seek your attention again and again. Hari Om Shri Vishnave Namaha Om Shri Vishnave Namaha Om Shri Vishnave Namaha Shantakaram Mojagashayanam Parvanavyam Suresham Vishwadharam Naganasadresham Ekavaranam Subhangam Lakshmi Kantam Kamala Jayanam Yogi Brajanagamyam Mande Vishnu Mahavayaranam Saravaloka Ekdanatam Anadani Dino Deva Shanka Chakra Gadharana Akshaya Pundari Kaksham Preta Moksha Pradobhava Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Mujhe Apne Sharan Me
According to our rights, according to our ritual, the family members, they are performing this funeral service today. You know, one man, he had a very heavy knapsack on his back. And with that very heavy knapsack, he found a huge hill, and he started to walk up the hill. And as he reached to the top of the hill, he looked around, and he walked back down the hill. As he reached to the bottom of the hill, again he looked around, he walked back up the hill. The knapsack on his back was very heavy. And he continued walking up and down this very large hill for a few times. Another gentleman was looking on, and he became curious. And he went up to the young man, and he asked him, can you please tell me what you are doing? And the young man with the knapsack on his back, he looked at the, the gentleman and he said, I don't know. So the man became puzzled by the answer. So then he asked, well, what are you carrying in your back? He looked at him and he said, I don't know. So where are you from? Again, the answer, I don't know. Well, at least tell me what is your name. What did the answer to me? I don't know. So what is the story about? I don't know. The story is about I don't know. The story is about nature. And every one of us, while we live in this world, we carry that knapsack with us. Some is heavy, some is light. What do we put in the knapsack? Our anxiety, our fear, our troubles, our depression, our frustration, our happiness, our sadness, our good times, our negative times, all of this, we put it in that knapsack and we carry it around with us. And sometimes we are wandering in this world lost as a young man. That is why the Sanatana is Hindus and we stand on four pillars, dharma, earth, calm and moksha. And once we stand on these four pillars of Sanatana dharma, we will never be lost in the world. Today, we are here to bid farewell to our loved ones. And always remember, once the day comes, we have to come into the world to birth, death will occur. Whether it comes at the age of 42, or 22, or two years old, or two days old, or maybe 102, it doesn't matter. It will come. For some of us, our karma are long, for some it is short. Whatever we go through in life is based upon karma. And sometimes we go around blaming other people for what is happening to us. No, we don't ever blame anybody. Whatever you are going through in your life, at that moment, is what you have to go through. And if I ask a question, I'll throw it out. I, I know the, the DJ box is out and everybody is hearing me. Do we have anybody who, who are sinners here? Anybody? No. One man and see me. Anybody else? Everybody is in us? Okay. Who told you that? So in God's eye, in God's eye, we are not sinners. None of us. We are never sinners in God's eye. We think that we are. But whatever we do in this world and on this big stage of this is what He wants us to do. He controls our life. Every moment that we go through, He is in charge. So if you bounce your foot, don't blame nobody. If you get a headache, don't say anybody to you anything. That is what you are to go through at that moment in your life. And Kai Bhagwan, thank him for at least having life. Thank him for having your loved one, your family one. This day in our life has to come. The last funeral I did, the gentleman was 72 years old. And he said to his wife, previously, a little while ago, if any one of us has to die, I want to go first. But she said, well, why? I can't handle the problems of missing you. I can't handle the problems of losing you first. Let me die first. And he did die first. And that wife, because of what he said to her, she was very, very strong during the funeral, and the shaving and the banana and everything. She stood up tall and very strong in performing her duty. But both children and child, they lived away and they couldn't come. Everything was virtual for them. Just as we are having these shots being taken for those who are living away. Everything is virtual. Even recently I saw the Dharmacharya. 
He said, now we have to give a virtue of how. We cannot feel the person anymore. We cannot touch the person anymore. It's virtual so many computer we doing it. And this is where the world is today. Not only in our country, not only in this community, but throughout the world, we are playing with a virus. Safeguard yourself. Protect yourself. That is the most that you can do. Today, as we visit the neighbor, to our loved ones, taken at a young age, that has no age. That has no time. Your man will come knocking on your door, and when your man says, time to go, it's time to go. You cannot tell him, come back tomorrow or come back next week. He will tell you immediately, look, this is your time, your time will reach, and you have to leave now. And I always give this lady a story, when Yamraj was knocking on this guy's door, and the minute he opened the door, he saw Yamraj. Of course, he was shocked, and Yamraj said, your time has come, you have to go. So the man invited Yamraj inside, and he said, well, you know, before you take, we'll have a cup of coffee, and then we'll go. Yamraj being the goal of that, this man may well die. So he gave him the cup of coffee, but while making it, he put two sips of tablets in his face. And he gave it to him. And Yamraj enjoyed the cup of coffee. And after having it, he fell asleep on the couch. The man went into the list that Yamraj had, and he saw his day when he first made for the morning to take it off. And as he rubbed it off, he put it to the bottom of the list. He said he didn't catch me today. Yamraj got up, very comfortable, and he thanked the man, look, I, I thanked him for that cup of coffee. I really needed to take a, a, a nap. And your pouch was very relaxing. I'm very happy and I'm very pleased with the way you treated me today. And for that, you know, you were the first person to me to take this morning. Instead, I will start from the bottom of the list, go up, rather than take up the first one. Can we all dodge that? Anybody? Can we dodge that? We can't. None of us. We cannot dodge it. And therefore, as much as we can say, we would have cheated young Raj. No. Mark and Clay were the only person who would have gotten to cheat them. And that is because at the time of birth, his parents, they had a choice. You can get a son who will live until 16 years old, very humble and very noble. Or you can get a son who can live for his entire life. And living for his entire life, he will be very wicked. And the parents choose to have the 16 year old. And having chosen the 16 year old, they knew when that child will become 16, he will have to go, he will have to die. But that child was so strong in penance and good devotion and meditation, he was a devotee of Bhakta Lord Shiva. And everything he did was to Lord Shiva. And when he knew, when, when his parents knew that time was coming close, obviously they were sad. But this child, being a, such a great devotee of Lord Shiva, every moment of his life, oh Lord Shiva, until the day will come when Yamaraj came with that news to take him away. Lord Shiva came and said, no, you're not taking it away. He is my devotee, he is my child. And therefore, he will live on to be one of the greatest bhaktas that I have ever known. Then he brought us death at that time. My dear friends, we are not so fortunate. None of us are fortunate to do that. When this day will come, we have to go. And death will come in many different fashions and many different designs. That, when it do come, we cannot turn back. While we are living, our loved ones, our dear and dear ones, they are there for us, to help us, to support us, to ensure that we are taken care of during our lifetime. We come into the world alone, we live alone. The relations that we build that while we are here, it brings about the emotion. And that is why when we lose our loved one, we will cry, we will bawl, we will weep, because we know that that void can no longer be filled again in the role of the children, in the role of the Dulahim, in the parents, and everyone. We would have lost the physical form we are seeing here now in a few moments' time, when it's engulfed and clean in the fire, it will no longer be there. So blessings to all of you, and as we turn to the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 15, in chanting a few verses, we ask that may Lord Krishna bless, guide, and protect the soul, making a journey back to you. We join our hands together, Seeking God's grace and God's blessings.
So whoever has the first three here. Sorry, I'm sorry. We have the eulogy to be performed, and then one of the pieces of you will deliver a poem on the last part. See, there are one way to bring everyone. Starting before you today, I say farewell to a son, husband, father, brother, uncle, cousin, nephew, friend and many more to us is one of the hardest things I have had to do. Words kind of describe sorrow and loss and feeling, but I will try. Al was just 42 years old when he passed away on Saturday the 9th of January 2021. He was born on March 11, 1978. Alan attended the Pinal Junior Secondary School and Barrackford Secondary School where he acquired his education. He later went on to work and learn a trade as an electrician at Coca's Garage. Thereafter, Central Equipment Rentals, and lastly, Rostro Petrol Avance. After which, he was dedicated to take over a family business, which he grew into multiple small businesses, as you can see. During his time at Central Equipment Rentals, he met his beautiful wife, Alicia, which he refers to as Alice. They would have been married for 14 wonderful years on the 25th of February this year. They shared two gorgeous and intelligent daughters together. These girls were the apple of his eyes. He would go an extra mile to ensure that they were happy. He would always boast about how much he loved his girls. Alan was always thinking of new investments. He was an ambitious and hard-working businessman. Alan loved to play his music when drinking, with, when drinking and not forgetting all his lines and hooks by Koi Koi Shed with his friends. Most of us know if you are looking for Alan and you don't find him at home, you are sure to find him or see his car by the bar drinking his daru. When you hear his car revving and loud music playing in front of your house, you know he's nice. He lived, he, he lived his life beyond the police. Alan will occasionally give his dogs a little sip of course that you get, and his dog loves him for that. Talking about kind hearted, caring, loving, and giving person is an understatement to describe Alan. Filled with joy and spreading laughter, a man with never ending positivity. I am sure you all will agree on that. He would generously give open heartedly to everyone who, his, who crossed his path. Made be his family, friends, kids, tenants, or even strangers. Alan would surely be missed by everyone. Alan had nicknames for all, but one which was heard on a daily basis was when he would call his mother Pamba. Even though he is not physically with us anymore, I am certain both him and his father will be looking over the very lovely family. So on behalf of Alan's family, I would like to say a special thank you to everyone for their support and love to you this next our time. Alan Boy, also in the center and a cure was not to be found. So he put his arms around you and whispered, come to me. The golden heart stopped beating. Our will came at rest. God broke our hearts to prove to us he only takes the best. Alan, someday we will see you again. Will you fly high? with the angels. We miss you. We surely do. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vicky. Because of all, God blessing to you for standing up with your family and delivering the unity on behalf of them. Uh, one of the other cousins from New York, Anis, rather, will deliver a poem that you will listen to. Uh, and to return for a point of order.
Yeah. <laughs> 
ओम यमद्वारे महागोरे अंतरतमतामते तत्त्वलोके भी कोयंग में आदे आदे तो ओम प्रदुषिताम
No, 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 no. I don't need to 
ಬಸುದೇವಾಥ ನಾರಾಯಣ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಥ ನಾರಾಯಣ ವಾಸುದೇವ ಜೇನಾಥ ನಾರಾಯಣ ವಾಸುದೇವ ಭಾರತ 